Russian military forces have begun airstrikes in Syria. Uh, this is coming from RT News uh, that is giving us the source. The Russian Air Force has begun carrying out airstrikes against the Islamic State targets in Syria. Uh, this is according to the country's defense ministry uh, and, and, and where in which he said, quote, in accordance with the decision of the Supreme Commander of the Russian Armed Forces, Vladimir Putin, warplanes of the Russian airspace forces today have started an aerial operation uh, involving pinpoint strikes on ground targets of the Islamic State terrorists in Syria. Again, this comes from a spokesperson from the Russian Defense Minister uh, Ministry uh, from Russia. The Russia, uh, the Russia airstrikes are targeting military equipment, communication centers, vehicles, arms, and fuel depots uh, belonging to the Islamic State terrorists, according uh, again to RT News. A U.S. official told Reuters that in uh, Moscow uh, gave Washington a one-hour advance notice of its operations. Uh, and another source, guys, that I pulled up, I believe it was Fox News, said that Russia is warning America to not get involved and to keep their aircraft out. Again, uh, this is an extremely interesting development that's taking place in Syria, where in which Russia now is carrying out what looks to be strategic strategic airstrikes in uh, Syria. So what will be the response of President Barack Obama? What will be Israel's response? This will be interesting. Israel warned yesterday. Uh, they gave warning to Russia and America that they will not tolerate Persian or Iranian forces on their border uh, and now we're seeing uh, strategic military airstrikes taking place from Russia who has been given the green light uh, so this is extremely interesting guys developments taking place in Syria and which has a prophecy over hanging over them of Isaiah 17 dealing with the capital of Syria, Damascus, in which the prophet said that it would be become a ruinous heap in the last days. So will this escalate further? Will it become uh, one of these major wars that we read about in Bible prophecy of Psalms chapter 83 or Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39? Or will this blow over for a time period and uh, later on escalate more? This morning I posted a quick video about the fact that Putin had finally got permission from his parliament to carry out military action abroad. Now obviously this pertains mainly to Syria right now, very similar to what he'd done before Crimea. Now, like I've been saying for a while, this really does throw the ball back into the West's court. And I can tell you right now that just a short while ago, the Pentagon has confirmed that Russia have carried out their first airstrikes in and around the Homs region of Syria. Now the Pentagon, as well as confirming that, are worryingly saying that when they're looking at the build-up of this military equipment, they're seeing air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-air -air fighting capabilities. Now, ISIL, ISIS, they don't have an air force. Oh wait, do they? Well, that would be us, the US, France. You getting my drift now? Russia are preparing for something far bigger than just taking out ISIS. They know the big picture. Every time the media says that both sides are in there to sort out ISIS, remember that Russia are in there to back Assad against Israel and the West. I'm telling you guys, Syria is the last domino before Tehran and Iran. It has to be toppled and we are seeing major superpowers squaring up in the region right now.